Oh, he got glitched in the wall. Oh, okay, bye. Hi, my name is KK, and we're currently finishing up a raid on Power World. This guy has been stuck over here, and this seems to be an issue with raids right now. I experience this a lot, where there's usually the whole party, not just one person, gets stuck. Okay, so that was that. So the first thing I want to point out is I am actually now level 17. I do believe where we left off, I was level 9. So I've definitely been doing some grinding uh, and a lot of it. And one of the biggest grinds I have done is all the pals that I've already registered, which is only 9, which is insane, thinking I'm level 17 and only have done 9. Uh, but I've done the 10 capture bonus for all 9 of those. I've also been leveling up the base. I think I'm currently level 11. But where I'm at now is I need to build a wheat plantation, and that requires the wheat seeds. And I don't have any. I don't know where to find those at. So I am kind of at an impasse here with the base, so we're gonna leave it as is. And I have been resisting capturing new pals as I've been hunting down the other ones because I have been enjoying reading their descriptions. Another thing I did is I went back and opened up that copper chest I saw in the beginning, and I got this old bow schematic. I've already unlocked the old bow, so I don't know if this is useless or if I can sell it or do something with it. Nice, just finished Pingullet's rocket launcher. And I think I'm gonna swap out my daydream for a Pingullet because this guy over my shoulder is pretty great, except for when you're trying to capture new pals because he just takes them out really fast. And it's so frustrating because there's nothing I can do about it. I haven't figured out how to unequip any of the key items. His daydreams necklace, like I can't do anything about it. I can't put it in a chest. So the only thing I can do is take, take daydream off the bar or out of the party. And I hate that because I do really like him. And also, since I last played, I have learned that the chests do, in fact, respawn, which is awesome. So as long as I can remember the locations for the chest, I could farm them pretty easily. I just got to figure out how long they take to respawn. We have a level 14 dinosaur. I'm hoping that they have weaknesses. This guy is Leaf, and I think that's Dragon, if I'm correct. So I think my Flamethrower Pal should work. I threw the... Oh. Anyway, let's do Huggy Fire. This is one of the coolest things. Oh, probably should have switched. All right, did not expect that captured. A pal who wants angered cannot be pacified. It rages on and on like an inferno. The phrase, step on a dinosaur's tail, has come to mean enraging someone. Oh, lumbering. I have been needing somebody to do lumbering because I've been having to farm all of that myself. This is fantastic. Although you require a lot of food, which is fine. We've got so many berries back at the base. They're all yours. Oh, and you drop wheat seeds. Did I get any? I did not. I did see an egg up here, which I have learned they also respawn. And they're not guaranteed to be the same egg. Large dark egg. Been kind of stocking up on a few of these. I think this is the beach that you see in the opening cutscene. Nice. So I do believe that's my fourth life monk effigy. I think I can do another upgrade at the statue. Oh, a cave, a dungeon. Oh, hillside cavern until expiration is 84 minutes. Is that like 84 minutes of continue gameplay? Or if I turn it off, does that still count down? It's a level 13 boss. I feel like I can handle that. I'm gonna head back to the base though and empty my inventory and get set up. And we're gonna hit our first dungeon. Oh, it's so beautiful. Can finally get some wood easily at the base. When activated, the player equips a rocket launcher and fires Pingullet as ammunition. Pingullet explodes on contact and is incapacitated. I did not know that this would be a one-off kind of thing. So I am going to put Daydream back on my list for right now. Because I am going to run that dungeon and he may be helpful. I don't know, level 13, I'm hoping won't be too much of a challenge. But we're going to head back down there and find out. And one of the reasons I want to rush into this so quickly is because I'm not sure that when that timer counts down all the way, if it's just going to disappear or if it just resets. Yes, I would like to enter. Thank you. Syndicate thugs. 20 pallium fragments from this, which is good because I've been running low. Ooh, that's new. Okay, slow attack. Oh, not a slow attack. Its hard tail does not deteriorate even when cut off. Some believe these severed tails to be good luck, but for the innumerable Mal who were poached as a result, they were anything but. Okay, tails 
Bad luck, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, glitched in the wall. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, I see some friends. Oh no, I accidentally hit a daydream. Ooh, kill Amari. Nice. I like the name. No! Another thing I don't like about Daydream is how much screen he takes up when he's following me. A fuddler. All right. Y'all are cute. So sorry to do this to you. No, I tried to get it before you died. I'm so sorry. No. Oh, I should have left you behind. Oh, you died. I thought your health was just low. I'm gonna risk it. Do not touch him. Nice. Its large claws boast the diamond-like hardness. However, sharpening these claws consumes most of its energy, leading to it sometimes spending entire days doing nothing else. Ooh, what are you? Sulfur! Oh, yeah, that makes sense, because there's, like, guns and stuff. Tundra outfit schematic. You see, I have not unlocked the Tundra outfit yet, because I haven't, like, thought I would need it. So, how does this work? Do I just use it? Gotta figure that one out. Just realized I leveled up. I think I am going to use my next few on attack because it's so low and I feel like I just needed to be able to do more damage. Hmm. Hmm. So I think I missed something because I am where I started and I did not find the boss. Unless that was the boss and somebody already killed it. Oh, my weapon's damaged. It wraps itself around an enemy's head, sucking out their insides. Ugh. Pal mummies are occasionally found, but these are in fact Kilimari victims. Ooh, good thing I haven't seen any pal mummies. Might be a little freaked out. So right now I just want to find where the boss is. Hopefully I don't get sucked into the fight. And then I want to go back and repair it. Maybe make a new weapon because I think I need an upgrade. I found a path I did not go. It was in the last room I went into and I just went right by it. Okay, yeah, that looks like a boss. So... I'll be back. Oh, I have no shortage of wool. Wow, man, you are killing it with the wood. 386. When activated, generates subtle vibrations to detect nearby ore. Okay. Ore seems pretty common, so I don't think that's too necessary at the moment. Here's his law. Sometimes it digs up gold coin when assigned to ranch. Okay. So I just unlocked the spear, the metal spear. I'm going, I wish it would tell you how much damage it does before you craft it, but I am going to go ahead and craft it, and hopefully this does uh, much better damage than the bat does. I'll probably carry them both, just in case. 80. I guess close to double. Hopefully that's enough. So the attack seems to be slightly slower. I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make. Round two. No, you know, not really round two. I never did round one. Round one continued. So a couple questions. Well, first of all, the Melpacas haven't captured one yet, so this is going to be great. But the question, the main question is, can I capture the boss? Oh, you're not even the Melpacas anymore. You're a giant chickpea. Is there any point in me catching the giant chickpea boss? I guess I'll find out. Okay, easy boss. Yeah, it just says the same thing. Oh, I got the new ancient civilization parts. New to me, I haven't had these yet. They look like a spark plug. Is the ancient civilization Earth? <laughs> oh, I got a feather, precious plume. Glittering feathers collected from pals can be sold to a merchant from a, for a high price. Is that its only purpose is to be sold? Man, I wish that was the Melpacas. Wait, so does that mean I can just keep running through the same raid over and over again? And getting different bosses? I think I said raid, I meant dungeons. Grass skill fruit. Oh yeah, I found another, ooh, and a ruby. I found another skill fruit. Electric skill fruit and another ruby, nice. All right, so did that give me one of those purple technology points? The ancient technology points, no it did not. How do I get those? Okay, I want to run in here again and see if it's just going to be a new boss. Okay, no new boss, so I guess that is what that countdown timer is for. Oh, he's even got the boss icon. That's awesome. I actually decided to do one of these mouths because I don't know when I'm going to need to use the gold, and I don't know how much I'm going to need, so might as well try and farm up a little bit right now. 
I have caught myself on fire. Can I stop, drop, and roll? Does that work? Does that work? All right. I am going to put Pendulet back on my bar as well because I need to capture a bunch of pals. And having Daydream on my shoulder is going to make that so difficult. Noise. Don't be fooled by this pal's fluffy appearance. A hypersonic kick from one of its long legs may send you flying to the other side of the world. It carries newborn pals to its nest and raises them as a surrogate parent. That's sweet. Once the baby pal has fattened up, it hunts them. What? That was like sweet and then like a punch to the gut. I wonder if I can get y'all to fight the Mamoras. Oh. Oh boy. Well, that fight did not last very long. I'm assuming this is Rain Syndicate's tower because it's a tower and it's the only one I've seen so far. Ooh, mushrooms. I see a little stone tower up here. I feel like there's gotta be something good up here, right? All right. I see another life monk effigy. I wonder if that's just gonna be the norm on top of these towers because I got one on top of that one over there as well. Oh, how did I miss these on the ground? Free arrows. A tansy. Oh, I really hope you don't kill him too easily, but you're probably going to. Oh yeah, definitely. Get back here. What do you offer? Oh, mushrooms. Nice. Long ago, this pal used long objects like tree branches as weapons. After coming into contact with humans, however, it found something slightly more effective. Guns. You know, that does seem slightly more effective than tree branches. T-Vent. Nice. Large amounts of water pour from what is thought to be its nose, though some say that it is, in fact, just snot. This has sparked a fierce debate among pal scholars. That's funny. Oh, you're a boss. You're only a level 11, though. I think I can take you on. Oh, you're really cute. I'm sorry about this. Oh, I chose the right pal. Completely on accident. You're definitely an ice pal named Chillit. All right, you get back here. Very nice. Boss first kill, acquired one ancient. Oh, that's how you get the ancient technology points. And I will definitely use that on the incubator. That'll be the first thing I do is pop in an egg. Also leveled up, nice. So we're gonna pop that on attack. Breeding farm, okay. Large toolbox, I do like the way that sounds. Saddle for safely, ooh, I can ride dinosaur. Absolutely, I want that saddle. I actually need to check to see if there's anything else I have unlocked. Chill it saddle for riding chill it, why not? Tansy's Assault Rifle. Assault Rifle is made especially for Tansy. It activates its partner skill and Tansy will enter gunner mode and begin shooting at nearby enemies. Yes. Gloves for gently holding on to Kilimari's legs. If Kilimari is in your team, it can be used as a glider. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. Saddle for safely riding Malpaca. Why not? Okay, so that seems to be all the PAL saddles, harnesses, or anything that I've unlocked so far. So let's go ahead and do the egg incubator as well. It can curl up its body and roll around at extremely high speeds. Long ago, people would tie bags of milk to domesticated chillet as they graze to produce butter using this spinning force. Okay, is that a thing you can actually do? So butter's a thing I gotta watch out for. A life monk. I'm not close enough to shoot you. These have got to have something to do with those effigies you keep getting. So I'm hoping you're something special. You've got very low level. Do you not attack or run? Okay, so you're just running. Um, aim. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Intelligent as a five to seven year old human child, it makes a wonderful partner, but there have been more than a few cases where they've killed their master after learning to use weapons. Oh man, is that a thing you can do? Learn to use a weapon? Ugh. I'm not sure if I actually want you to learn to use a weapon if you're gonna kill me with it. Nice, I see another effigy up here. What are you? Getting some more of these uh, skill fruits off this tree. Uh, come on, thank you. Can I cut this tree down? Okay, there are no damage counters, so I'm gonna say no to that. Large verdant egg. Oh, this actually worked out perfect. I'm close to base, so I'm going to head back, drop everything off, probably sleep the night off, and then go to Syndicate's Tower to see if it's possible for me to beat this boss. Based off of what I'm seeing so far, I want to say yes. That low-level dungeon and that low-level roaming boss, they were really easy to beat, and I could have just kind of be getting hopeful right now, but I am. Why do they keep getting stuck up there? 
and like they can't get down and I jump up there and I can't pick them up because you can see that it's in the middle of something. So I have to come in here and remove you and put you back in. Let's see, your partner skill is locked. Your partner skill is locked. When activated, spout some serious water that soothes wounds and restores the player's health. Okay, I can dig it. Your partner skill is locked. Your partner skill is locked. Your partner skill is locked. Oh, okay, I got your submachine gun. So I can give you a gun. Probably not smart to actually give you a gun, but it's pretty cool that you're right on my head. No, I missed this one. Nightwing saddle. I can fly. I want that. In fact, I'm going to make that and put you in my inventory or in my party. Nightwing saddle. I need cloth and more ingots. Hey, incubator. This is big. I didn't realize how large this thing was. Let's drop you in the center. Set egg. Oh, I've got to get one in my inventory. Okay, so what do I want to start with? Large dark egg, large common egg, damp or verdant. I definitely want to do one of the uncommon ones. I guess we'll start with the dark egg. And move you into there. That's it? Is that all I do? Oh, you're counting down. So we got an hour and 20 minutes. Seems just a little hot. Don't know what that means. Oh man, I put all my copper keys away. Guess I can just go back and get them. I went back and got them. Nice, tropical outfit schematic. Don't have that one yet either. Still don't know how to use the schematics. Oh my God, guys, did you know you can slide? What? I just learned that. Capriti, Capriti, something like that. Ooh, not quite enough. All right, there was enough, I was wrong. Capriti. The shrub on this pal's back produces berries as long as it is properly fed. It offers these berries to potential mates, and if the flavor is to their liking, romance blossoms. Very interesting. Ooh, you have a level two planting. Nice. Wow. It sent him flying, didn't ya? Uh, you know, a blue one may have actually been enough. Oh, come on. Ouch. Listen, you're still on fire. Oh, well, I guess it's down to blue. I'm just gonna keep chucking them at you until you get caught. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually gonna make a couple more of the green spheres before we head back. Cat, no. Of course you're gone. You're not even in the area. And I was right here next to a fast travel. Acquired one technology point. Cat. Cat. I'm hearing gunshots. Why are y'all killing chickpeas? What's wrong with you? Cat. Is there a chance they can drop a gun? I see you keep getting ammo. So, oh, what are you? Yeah. Oh, you disappeared. This prickly pal's thorns are highly poisonous. It is a friendly with cinnamoth and only smiles when a cinnamoth is drinking its nectar. Okay. Oh, it gave me the capture. So I guess I did capture it without needing to use a sphere. Hmm. I bet you there's something up there. But you just do one attack. Wow, you took them all out. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I'm gonna die again. No, just get captured, please. Get captured, please. Oh, that's such a low rate. Okay, you know what? Take them out. Take them out. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. Of course I died. I think if I'm keeping track correctly, that is death number four. Oh, I accidentally clicked on the wrong spot. Oh, of course y'all are here now. I don't have anything to fight you with. Cats. There is indeed something up here. It looks to be an egg. It's another large dark egg, which is currently what I'm incubating. Yeah, it's like the same thing. Got a new journal entry. Day 11. I've definitely skipped a few days. I had no choice but to run away yesterday, but I can't stop thinking about that tower. Just as I decided to fashion some gear to try approaching it again, I heard the sound of gunfire behind me. That person from yesterday is after me. I couldn't sit by and do nothing. I mobilized all my pals for a counterattack. Before I knew it, they got carried away and killed the assailant. It's not like I killed anyone directly. There's no one to blame here. I mean, you stopped and took a picture of the guy's dead body. I feel like you should take some blame. Know what I mean? All right, plan right now is to repair my armor, 
come back and go straight to Rain Syndicate's tower. Prisla, I didn't even get your name earlier. So you, while in team, increase attack power of Grass Pals, okay? Pretty sometimes drops red berries from its back when assigned to ranch. Okie dokie, we're at the tower. Oh, I entered the tower. You know what? That makes sense. You have a 10 minute time limit to do this. So I don't even know if I'm actually like 100% ready for this. I know I've said that. What's what's happening? Oh, hold to begin. Yeah, because I'm the only one in here right now. Yes. And I really hate that my name is player 116. And you can't change that on Xbox right now. You can only do it on Steam. I had to look it up. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, I'm digging this music though. Oh, no, this makes sense. So are we going to like battle our pals against each other? You're going to ride its back. Got it. All right. Zoe and... Zoe, not so. Zoe and Chris Bolt. So this seems... Oh, yep. All right. So it's like most fights. Oh, you're running right at me. Um, who do I want to fight you? We'll use you. Oh my God. Can you get off of me, buddy? Oh, wow. I just realized your health is 30,000. <laughs> Poking you in the butt. Oh, ouch. Ouch. What is your weakness? You know what? You come back. Would your weakness be water? Ice. You got frozen. That's... Oh, that's awesome. So this isn't doing too much damage to you. Uh oh, oh, that did some damage to me. All right, buddy, let's see if this can. Oh, you got knocked out. All right, let's bring Hookerdies back out. Even though you're uh, getting pretty low too. All right, can you hop off of me? Who'd have thought Kativa is doing more work than Hookerdies was? Oh God, you're coming right at me again. No, no, no. Okay. So I got him halfway down, roughly, on my first attempt. I'm not ready for that. That was a little too hard. Do I have to go back in there to get my stuff? I think on that note... Oh, no, okay, my stuff's out front. That's awesome. So I think on that note, I'm going to call it here. I think I'm just kind of in a bad way right now. It's three deaths back to back. I mean, they were all from different pals, which is... A little more comforting, I suppose. I don't know if you can hear my cat screaming right now. She wants out, but I don't feel like getting up and opening the door. Um, yeah, so it was different pals. Uh, I mean, that's really not comforting, I guess. But it was good to try the boss, at least. I feel like I'm not far from there. I think I'll try it again maybe when I'm level 20, uh, which shouldn't be hard. I'm going to do a little more grinding in between now and the next one. Hey, this is this was not dark before. I feel like I got a lot done, though. Uh, my armor is damaged again. Of course it's damaged again. But anyway, I am still enjoying this game. Uh, it is definitely a lot of fun, and I'm learning a lot more. And I'm realizing there is so much more to grasp in this game than I have already experienced. When I come back, next time I will be ready to take on that boss. So that's what I'll be doing between now and then. So if you have enjoyed this video and you've made it all the way to this point, please go ahead and do me a favor and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. You can like this video as well. That would be phenomenal. And until next time, I'll see you.